Hello everyone, this is Ailron. Uh, today I'm looking at Orcs Must Die Unchained, and this is the third in my series of effective traps. For this one we're looking at the map Throne Room, and I have to say this one was by far the hardest one so far. I've seen people struggle to get the par time on this one without, um, without the challenge of primarily using traps, and with just using traps it's quite, quite difficult. So let's take a look. As usual, I'm going to pick Midnight because of the stealth. It helps keep out of the way of the minions. So again, I'm going to be mostly using traps to kill the minions. I will just be taking out the mercenaries and the rifts with Midnight. So I tried a lot of different combinations on this one of, of traps. Um, in the beginning I was trying, I knew this part time was going to be difficult and so I was looking at this north entrance where the minions spawn first and trying to bottle up the minions there, kill them near the entrance as much as possible. Um, I eventually did find a way to kill the minions there by the entrance starting from the very beginning. There are some interesting things about that area. It doesn't have very good trap locations, it mostly just has floor spots and it doesn't have very many of those. So that was difficult, um, but I learned a few things and I tried a bunch of different traps. I found, uh, due to the fact that these this map has order minions, and order minions have an ability called steady that makes it, uh, makes a little bubble appear around them and when that bubbles up, they can only take um, a certain amount of damage maximum per hit. So the strategy then is to have a whole bunch of hits on those minions and of course as typically people recommend fire traps and those are certainly very good. So I was trying to use a combination of fire traps and um, floor spikes and floor spikes it turns out are absolutely terrible versus order minions because they only have one hit um, and that's it. I also tried using tar, and tar is not so great either because um, tar tar sort of has a trade-off. It trades off a floor spot that does no damage in return for making the other traps around it do more damage. But unfortunately, since there are fo so few spots and there aren't really any good wall or ceiling spots, it doesn't really amplify the damage of the other traps enough to make it worthwhile. Um, but I did learn some interesting things about this area. On the far right and left, you can actually place Spitfire walls and they will occasionally trigger. And when they do, because stuff comes just barely in their range. But when they do trigger, of course, they fire further than their trigger range so they can actually hit the whole lane, which is actually kind of good. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I found is this area actually has um, not an even number of squares of height here. It uh, has an even number of squares plus a half. So that half is kind of an awkward spot and I tried different things including um, frost spikes and those are essentially have the same problem as floor spikes. They hit just one time and so they don't really work too well against order minions. So the other thing I tried is um, Firecracker, and Firecracker actually turned out to be fairly decent. It's another source of fire that stacks with brimstones and um, floor scorchers. So that worked out pretty well, but I still ran into the problem of minions getting through this area. So I wasn't slowing them, I didn't have that many traps doing damage, they would make it through this area. So what I ended up doing was using um, summoner traps here. And I use them in front of, I put a guardian here and I use summoner traps. The summoner traps are surprisingly great against order minions because you can put the rune, I think it's called reflective rune, that whenever they take damage, they do damage in return in an area. So uh, if there are a bunch of order minions around them, they all attack and then they all reflect damage in an area. So it really helps uh, do a lot of little hits to the order minions, which is exactly what you want. And it stalls them so that the Guardian could take them out. So I figured out a way to 
stopped them here at the entrance, but then I ran to the problem of when this door, this uh, western door opened, I couldn't contain all the minions there. And so I was kind of despairing that I could um, do that. So I switched strategies to just having one kill box that both lanes would funnel into. And I built it over here by the cook area, by the kitchen area. And um, I was even despairing that I could stop everybody there. What I found, though, in addition to the fire traps, I mean, I use a combination of floor scorchers, brimstones, firecrackers, spitfire walls, so all the fire traps. And I was searching for ceiling traps. I tried, you know, um, a, a variety of different ceiling traps. But what I found was, if you think about it, what you want are a lot of small hits, and the lightning rod actually provides that. The lightning rod upgrades itself, and then it can chain to more enemies, so it can hit a lot of enemies. Has a real reasonably fast refire rate, and you can give it a heat activated trigger, of course. And then uh, it upgrades itself to chain to more enemies, and, and it, you can pack them into a fairly tight area, which means, again, a lot of little hits. So that's ultimately what I went with there, and I actually um, used my knowledge from before about summoner trap, and I placed summoner traps here by the cook area. I eventually got to where I could finish this level, at least, although the part time, again, being challenging. Uh, if you just kill all the minions here in this kill box, it was not fast enough. So then I kind of made a hybrid scheme where I built a kill box here by the kitchen area, and then I started building by this northern entrance as I could so that I could speed up the later levels, and that actually worked eventually. Of course, I tried a bunch of other combinations too. Um, one of the problems with not using your hero very much is that you can't prevent your barricades from getting blown up. So I tried kind of the, some of the usual strategies of putting barricades here by the central area, using grinders on the sides and spit firewalls, but the barricades always get blown up. Really the only place that I found to usefully put barricades that don't get blown up is blocking off this bottom entrances to the rift, you can put barricades down here and block that off. And so that's ultimately what I did, is I just used those two barricades down there. I'm um, using the usual stuff. I wish I had fire sale, but since I don't, I'm using lightning deals, which is better than nothing. All right, let's take a look at this level and see how it plays out. Okay, here we are with Midnight in the throne room. First thing we're going to do is build a kill box on the north side. That's something we, we want to do the first couple of waves with this kill box so that we can save time. We're just going to build a one lane kill box for now, just because that's all the coin we have. The hardest part of this first wave is the bear that comes. He heals whenever his, his uh, friends die. That guy. I don't like that guy. So as soon as we can, we'll put this brimstone. Now we're going to go ahead and put two of those, and we're going to redo our summoner traps so they get full health. And might as well put some spitfire walls. These spitfire walls have a trigger range that's barely long enough to hit those guys, but once they trigger, they fire across the whole lane. Okay, now I gotta get some barricades going for the next wave. I am 
justly rewarded. So then we're going to come up and dismantle a lot of this kill box. We're going to move our kill box over here. Enemies are attacking on another front. Get a couple of guardians over here. And a bunch of lightning rods. They've broken through a gate. Useful. Let them come. Lure them here. If I were there, I'd tread lightly. One We want to get our lightning rods up early because they will upgrade themselves. Then we're going to move our summoner traps back once these guys die. These guys are going to be slow, so we'll put a little welcoming committee for him. Move these guys back. Then we need some more fire, because fire is always good. This firecracker is actually nice because it fills the whole hallway there. And the next thing that's coming is a boss in Wave 5, so we're going to get some Spitfires ready for him. We'll get the ones that fire down the long haul first, because they're more valuable. They can hit minions for longer. I seem to have put that one in the wrong place. I gotta move that over so I can fit two of them here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of Spitfires in this entrance area to get the boss going. A boss is on its way. An unstable rift is opening. Quick, destroy it. Usually this boss takes a look at the uh, summoner traps and tries to drain them for a while, which is always good. If I were them, I'd tread lightly. Okay, the next wave is going to have some runners. Usually what I do here is put some firecrackers just in case they get through. That should deter them a bit. Lure them here. Building a better mouse. See what they do.
Looks like none of them got through, that's good. So if everything goes okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these firecrackers then. And then I'm going to start building up the area outside here. This will stop them. Let them come. This will be their end. Carefully set. Ooh, that made my fur stand on end. Oh, wow, gotta watch my tail. Lots of fire everywhere. Now if I put a brimstone here, that'll give a chance for my floor scorcher to activate its heat activated trigger, which is a good thing. So before I put any flip traps or uh, floor scorchers flipping the other direction, I want to make sure I have everything on my damage there, just so I don't waste any time with enemies getting stuck on the floor or doing nothing. This will be their end. Boss minion has entered the battlefield. Let them come. Boss minion defeated. <laughs> Now that I have all my main damage, I can put flip traps or floor scorchers facing backwards. An unstable rift is opening. It must be destroyed. A boss is on its way! A bit more Spitfires, just in case the boss gets over here. The enemy's boss is down! This area is all finished. So now I think I mostly just put Spitfires around. That's a valuable spot for a while. Building a better mouse. Uh, or trap. 
I usually put more back here because the last boss is kind of tough. Where do I get my paws on them now? And that looks like it then. So we are going to get a mercenary over here. Let's see who it is. Bouncer Bear, everybody loves Bouncer Bear. Come here, Bouncer Bear. An unstable rift is opening, destroy it. And our heroes destroyed the unstable rift, and there was much rejoicing. If we can get into this last wave with about two minutes left, then we'll have plenty of time. Final wave. So we're looking good on time. As long as Lysander goes down, then we're good. Alright, that's Lysander. Should be it. These guys are kind of tough, but they should go down just fine. There we go. So that's throne room, five stars with just the traps. I think this is a pretty effective set of traps. It's definitely the best I found. Lots of fire, shock zappers, no slows. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I'm Elron, and if you did, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Or if you found a better set of traps, let me know that too. Thanks, guys. See you next time.